How's it going everyone? This is DJ. The Fire TV Cube, as most of you already know, has the ability to change inputs on your TV using your voice by saying, Miss A, switch to HDMI 1. What most people are not aware of though is, it can change TV channels also by saying, Miss A, tune to channel number 3 for example, or the channel name like, tune to PBS. In this video, I will show you how to set up the live TV option on your Fire TV Cube, so you can use your voice to change TV channels. So grab your remote and let's get right to it. Alright everyone, welcome back. Now, in order to set up the live TV option, first you need to make sure you have the correct TV set up with the Fire TV Cube. So we're going to start with going to the settings. We're going to scroll down to equipment control. Click on there. Go down to manage equipment. Select that. And select TV. Click on there. We're going to scroll all the way down. And as you can see on the right for me it says my current TV is LG, which is correct. If the one listed there is the correct TV, then nothing you need to do. If it's not, then you just need to click on change TV and run the setup again. All right, we're going to press the back button once. And we're going to stay under manage equipment. In here, we're going to click on add equipment. We're going to select live TV. Now I'm going to select TV since I'm using an over the air antenna. If you're using a cable box, you can select set, set top box over here. So we're going to go back to TV. Click on there. We're going to click on next. Now in here, it shows you the current zip code that it's stored under your Fire TV Cube. If this is correct, all you got to do is press yes. If not, then you just press no and put the correct zip code in here. Let's press yes. I'm going to select antenna here. And now we're going to switch over. And we're going to press next here. If you're not seeing the Fire TV Cube screen, press fast forward on your Fire TV Cube remote. So as you see, it switched over to the antenna input. We're just going to press the fast forward on the remote to go back to the... Trying to switch back to Fire TV Cube. If you're not seeing the Fire TV Cube screen, press rewind on your Fire TV Cube remote. All right, so we're back on the Fire TV Cube screen over here. We're going to press next here. And that's it. So over here, it gives you a couple of tips on how to use the commands over here. You can read it. You can pause the video if you want to read all of it. So we're going to press next here. And that's it. We're back over here. Let's click on home. And live TV option is already set up. So now all we got to do is switch over to the antenna. And all you got to do is say, switch to antenna input. Okay. Switch over here now. All right. So now, to, in order to change channels, all you got to do is say, tune to channel three. Give it a second. It gives you the list of the channels that are available under three. And as you saw, there was like three, two, three, 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 four. And if you want to switch to one of those, all you got to do is say, tune to channel 3.3. Tuning to 3.3, WFSB DT3 on TV. And that's it. Now, if you want to go to a specific channel by name, all you got to say is, tune to PBS. Tuning to PBS on TV. And that's it. Now, if these commands for some reason do not work for you, what you need to do is add at the end of each command the word on TV. For example, let's say, Tune to channel 61 on TV. Tuning to 61 on TV. All right, and that's about it. Now, if you want to go back to the Fire TV Cube's home screen, all you got to do is use the Miss A word and say go home or switch to the HDMI input that the Fire TV Cube is connected to. So, for example, I can say go home. 
Now for me, it's going to take a little longer because it's connected to a capture card. But for you, it should have switched right away. Or if I say switch to HDMI 3. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. So that's about it. It's pretty simple, right? It does come in a little handy here using your voice to switch TV channels instead of grabbing the remote every single time. Well, that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.